Following the resurrection, only Mary was the one to see Jesus, to recognize Jesus immediately as the view. The tomb was found open by Mary Magdalene, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Joanna. They go back and they tell the disciples. The eleven basically tell them, you're full of crap. But Simon Peter and John, John, by the way, is the disciple whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter and John run to the tomb. John gets there first, but he does not enter. When Peter arrives, he enters and sees the burial cloth with the head cloth off to the side, away from the other cloths. They kind of believe, but not really believe. Like, mm. The next day, Mary goes, and she is in the garden, and she sees the angels, and she's out, and she's crying. And the man says to her, why are you weeping? What can I do? How can I help you? And she thinks it's the gardener. And she says, Tell me what you have done with my Lord's body. And all he says to her is one word. He says her name. Mary. He calls her by name. And she is the only one that he calls by name. All of the others do not recognize him until it is the breaking of the bread or until, in the case of yesterday's um, example, when he appeared on the shore of the lake, they did not recognize him until he recommitted the act of the savior of the lake. For the men, for the disciples, he must redo something for them to understand. He must teach them again. He must break the bread again. He never calls them by name. But Mary Magdalene, he calls her by name. She is so special to him. I spent the entire afternoon t just going into this. Luke didn't like Mary. If you read his Gospels, you can tell he doesn't like Mary. All of the, all of the writers, all of the great authors, all of the great scholars, Say, you look at the Gospels, Mark and Matthew and John, two of them are, we'll say, benign on Mary. John loved Mary. Luke didn't like Mary. That's why today, when Mark has Mary having seven demons, you want to know who gave her seven demons? Luke! Luke gave Mary seven demons because she never had demons. He did that to her in his gospel. There's no writings anywhere of her ever being exorcised. But he had to do that because the Lord loved her so much. How else? after she's gone, after he is gone. Can you balance history? But to say, she had seven demons. And in today's gospel, the Lord says, he rebuked them for their unbelief, for all of the times that people came back and said, we have seen the Lord. And the core 11th say, no, you didn't. 
we haven't seen him. We in this week we have not yet seen Doubting Thomas. We'll get him. Don't worry. But th they all are having a hardness of heart. They had to shut off their heart because of the pain. But God gives his grace and dignity to the hardened of heart who choose to open themselves with meekness to his spirit. And that is what they must do when he sends them go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. So throughout this weekend, if you don't listen to my reading, think on Mary, pray on Mary. Use her as your example. God so loved her, she is the only one after he's resurrected that he called her by her name. And so each of us, as we are born, he calls us by our name.